one night as Yn and her mafia husband Park Jimin were having dinner together. She was talking to her boy best friend on her cell phone. She couldn't help but feel a little uncomfortable when her husband kept glaring at her every time she laughed at something her best friend had said. It wasn't like her to be so sensitive, but something about the way he was acting was making her feel a little insecure. She tried to brush it off, but the more she did, the more it seemed to bother him. Finally, she decided to confront him about it. What's going on, baby? She asked after saying goodbye to her best friend and setting down her phone. You've been acting really strange tonight. He glared at her his dark eyes narrowing. Strange. I'm not the one acting strange, love. You've been flirting with him on your phone the entire night. She was taken aback. Flirting? I haven't been flirting with him, she protested. We're just friends. Jimin let out a harsh laugh. Just friends, you've known each other for 10 years and you've never once flirted. Please, I'm not stupid. He leaned in closer, his voice lowering. And I don't appreciate it. She felt her cheeks flush at his accusation. I'm sorry if I've made you uncomfortable, she said trying to keep her voice calm. But you know, we're just friends. I promise I would never do anything to hurt you. He stared at her for a long moment, his expression unreadable. Finally, he leaned back in his chair and took a deep breath. I know you wouldn't do anything intentionally, he said, but I can't help how I feel. It's just when I see the way you talk to him, the way you laugh at his jokes, it hurts, you know, she nodded, understanding now. I'll be more careful in the future, she assured him, and I'll make sure to avoid talking to him during our time together. I don't want you to ever feel left out. He studied her face for a moment before speaking again. It's not that I don't want you to have friends, he said slowly. but. I need to know that I am still the most important person in your life. She reached across the table and took his hand. You are, baby. You'll always be the most important person to me, I promise. Their eyes met and for a moment the tension between them seemed to ease. And I'm sorry if I ever made you feel otherwise. He smiled slightly, squeezing her hand in return. It's just sometimes I get a little jealous, you know. I love you so much and I don't want anyone else to have a piece of you. He leaned in closer, his voice dropping to a whisper. Especially not him. She felt her heart skip a beat at his words. She knew he was only trying to protect her, to make sure she knew how much he cared. But it was still hard not to feel a pang of guilt. I understand, she said softly, and I promise I'll do whatever I can to make you feel secure in our relationship. 
They sat there for a moment, holding hands across the table, the air between them feeling lighter. She knew that there would still be times when she would catch herself laughing a little too hard at something her best friend said or feeling a bit too comfortable with him. But from now on, she would be more mindful of her husband's feelings. After all, he was her husband and she owed it to him to make sure their bond was as strong as ever. They finished their dinner in a more comfortable silence, each lost in their own thoughts. They cleared the table and went to their bedroom. She leaned against him, feeling the warmth of his body and the reassuring strength in his arms. He wrapped an arm around her waist, pulling her closer, and she rested her head on his shoulder, grateful for his understanding and love. You know, she began looking up at him. I'm sorry if I ever make you feel like I don't appreciate what we have. It's just that he kissed her forehead gently. I know love, you've been my best friend for so long and it's hard to separate that from our relationship now, but I trust you and I know you love me, that's all that matters. You're right, she said nestling closer, and I promise to always cherish our love no matter what. He returned her smile, his eyes twinkling with love. Good, he replied kissing her softly on the lips. Because I plan on spending the rest of my life proving to you just how much you mean to me. Together for a moment longer, their hearts beating in perfect rhythm. As they pulled away, she felt a sense of peace wash over her, knowing that no matter what challenges their relationship might face in the future, they would face them together. They were in this together, for better or for worse, and as long as they had each other, nothing else mattered. Oh, oh, oh.